Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can merge multiple selected cells into one larger cell, or you can split a single selected cell into multiple smaller cells. This is often performed on layout tables in a publication page in order to create different cells of various sizes into which you want to place your desired page content. To merge multiple selected cells into a single cell, first select the cells that you want to merge into a single cell. So down here at the bottom of our existing table, we've added a row with some text in it. We really want that text to span across the length of our table here, but we have these other cells. So we want to merge this into one big cell without affecting the other cells in our table. So we're going to go ahead and select all of these cells to merge. Remember we can click and drag, or we can click to the left of that row and give it a click to select it as well. Next, once you've done that, click the Merge Cells button in the Merge group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. So on the Layout tab, under Merge, we see Merge Cells. Give that a click and that will merge all of those selected cells into a single cell. So then we could go ahead and format our text, we could center it, and we could change the font, do whatever we want to it. To split a merged cell back into its component cells, start by clicking into that merged cell that you now want to split. Next, just click the Split Cells button up in the Merge group, it's right below Merge Cells, give that a click, and that will divide the merged cell back into its component cells within the existing columns and rows of the table. You can also select a cell in a table and then click the Diagonals button in the Merge group on the Layout tab in the ribbon to display a drop-down menu of possible cell division choices. You can select Divide Down or Divide Up to divide the selected cell up or down diagonally. Let's look at that. We can choose a cell, for example, and then we can go back up here and click Diagonals, and we can choose Divide Down, for example, if you wanted to split a cell that way. You'll see what that does. Now, you could also select that cell and go back up to Diagonals and choose No Division, one at the top, and that will remove the diagonal split from that selected cell. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.